All right, number one, going with the new approach of getting everything as fast as you can within 10 minutes. So if you reach top speed in seven minutes, call it there. But 10 minutes is the time limit for these, on pushing yourself and all that. So, six beats per minute. Number one, one, two, hang on a sec. Just some volume here. All right, one, two, Three, four, one and, and three, four and, and two, three and, and one, two and four, more and three, four. And as I'm playing that, I think I just remembered we have started doing this 10 minute time limit approach, right? We did that last time. Uh, anyway, 121, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, 3, 4, 201, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, what's causing that? Alright, number two. Sixty beats per minute. One, two, three, four, one, and four, one. faster no need to continue counting along like after 120 I wouldn't worry about it because it's kind of confusing um, so wait a minute we have number four whoops no we don't I was that's number one I think I was gonna start number four but then time ran out Okay, so I am going to attach something. I was just thinking about this. Uh, I attached something in the email. And it's going to be scale shapes. Three notes per string scale shapes. And the reason why is because you're kind of asking you know, about other things to practice. And... You can see what I'm doing here. Um, no, no, no. It's 
SPO30, here we go. So this is what I'm going to give you, and what you're looking at here, if you don't know how to read this, basically it's a picture of your guitar neck, and the dots represent what frets you play in order to make the scale happen. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here as to what's going on, but this is in the key of C, or C major. You could also say this is in the key of A minor. Uh, so you get your relative minor here as well. So these funny names that come after the root note are the mode names. And <clears throat> learning what the mode names are is a good thing. You can associate the different shapes with the different modes. There is detail that goes into what a mode is, but we're not going to do that now because it would be a lot of stuff to talk about. But basically, you're playing all the notes, all the natural notes, meaning no sharps, no flats, basically all the white keys on a piano, that's what's up here. Down here is every scale shape put together. So it's much easier to learn one scale shape at a time versus memorizing all these dots being laid out. So reading it you get just like your tablature this is your low E string this is your high E string so what you do is you read this from the lowest pitched note first and then you go one note higher and then what you get up to the top here then you go backwards so to that C scale or the Ionian mode you got 8 10 12 8 10 12 9 10 12 9 10 12 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, and then you play it backwards. 13, 12, 10, 13, 12, 10, 12, 10, 9, 12, 10, 9, 12, 10, 8, 12, 10, 8. So, memorizing him one at a time is good. So until you can play the C scale up and down comfortably, don't try playing D Dorian yet. Uh, we'll talk more about what you can do with these things next time. One of the easiest things, more fun things to do, is put on an A minor backing track. So you can search for that, A minor backing track, and then you just start playing the scale on top of that, and you're basically making up a guitar solo. So, starting with that, start memorizing that A, or the uh, C major scale there with the Ionian mode. That'd be a good extra thing to do, and we'll talk about these things in more detail next time. Until then, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll see you next week.